Hello! This video is about measuring angles and it's to help you do the online exercise on the Transom website. There's the address to get to it. Okay, let's begin with remembering what an angle is. It's an amount of turning, just like the turning of this door, and it's measured in degrees. So, if I turn this line here, that's about 90 degrees. That's a right angle. And then that's half of that, so that's about 45 degrees. That's about 60 degrees. Or I can make an obtuse angle. That's by turning more than 90 degrees. 180 degrees is a straight line, and more than that is called a reflex angle. So these are the devices I use to measure angles, and the big one measures a full 360 degrees in a full turn, but the one you probably have looks like this, which has two scales, and one of them goes from 0 to 180 from the left turning around to the right, and the other one goes from 0 to 180 degrees from the right turning towards the left. So, here we go. We'll begin with level one. Now here the protractor has been put on top of the angle correctly. It has got the little target in the middle of the protractor correctly over the apex of the angle. And this horizontal line here of the protractor is lined up with one of the arms of the angle. All we have to do for level one is really decide which scale to use. Do we use the black numbers or the blue numbers? Well, the ones we use are the ones that begin at zero. So here we have the zero on the line, whereas the blue numbers 180, which is the end of the blue scale. So we'll start off with the beginning of the black scale. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 degrees. Now, what you have to do is type in the answer 50 and there will be a bit of tolerance in the answers that are accepted. So you could type in 49 or 51 and still get it right. But what you do now is scroll down, double click the check button and you'll see we've got this question right. The second one, again we start counting from zero and this one is 40 degrees. And that is correct. Now, in level 2, the angles are a bit bigger, but it's still the same procedure. You start off from the zero and count around until you get to the other arm of the angle. So this one we would be using the black scale and it would be 110. 110 degrees. It doesn't hurt to estimate the angle first and say, well, I can see this is an obtuse angle. I can see it's bigger than 90 degrees. So I know the answer is going to be somewhere around there. Let's check. Yes, it is correct. So let's have a look at another one down the page. Let's have a look at this dark purple one here. This time, the zero of the blue scale is on this arm of the angle. So we start counting using the blue numbers, go all the way through 90, and we can see that this angle is nearly 140. We'll have to look up here to see exactly. I think it's about 2 degrees less than 140, so I'm going to say 138. And that's deemed correct. Right, let's go on to level three. Right, what we need to do here is read from the big protractor here the size of the angles required in the question. So first of all, find the size of acute angle BAC. There's B, there's A, and there's C. So here I can see these two lines make an acute angle here. So I'm going to start off on the black scale because that starts at zero on one of the arms of the angles. Count round 10, 15 degrees. I think that is 15 degrees. Again, always use the check button to make sure you're doing the right thing. And then let's have a look at a question. 
over here. Let's try this one. H A E. So H A E. Well, I can see without even using the protractor that this looks like a right angle. But if I do start on the blue scale, the one that starts at zero, I can see it is 90 degrees. So that one, yes, is 90 degrees. Moving on to level four. Now, this is where you get the practice moving the protractor. You can use your cursor just to drag the protractor. And the first job is to get the target. That's that little bit there in the middle of the protractor over the apex of the angle. And then one of the arms of the angle should be lined up with zero on one of the scales. So in this case, I've lined it up with the blue zero. And then I can count round on the blue scale and see this angle. Oh, it's just over 60. I would say 61. So I'm going to type in 61 degrees. Let's check that using the check button. Yep, we've got that right. Now, let's move the protractor to one of the questions further down the page. Right, so this one hasn't got one of its arms horizontal. So what I'm going to do is, as well as lining up the protractor with the little target there on the apex of the angle, I'm going to need to rotate the protractor. Well, if you're on a computer, you can hold the shift key down and then rotate the protractor until one of the arms of the angles coincides with a zero on one of the scales. And then I can line it up as best as I can. And then the zero scale is the blue, so counting around on the blue numbers, that's 62, I'm going to say, 62 degrees. Yeah, I've got that right. Now, if you're not on a computer, if you're doing this on an iPad or something, if you click this little checkbox here, that allows you to rotate the protractor and then untick it when you want to just move it again. So that's how you use this for measuring the angles. So first of all, drag it, place the target over the point of the angle, and then hold the shift key down to rotate it until zero on one of the scales coincides with the arms, and it doesn't matter which one you do. So this time I'm using the black zero that, that matches that arm. So I need to count round using the black numbers here, and I think this is 65 degrees. Yes, that's correct. Now let's go on to level five. And in level five, we have some obtuse angles to measure. So move the protractor, place the target over the point of the angle, and I can see the blue zero is already over one of the arms of the angles. So I know I'm going to have to use this blue scale. I can see it's an obtuse angle, bigger than 90, so I won't be surprised that when I go around I pass the 90 and end up at about nearly 110, I'm going to say 109. 109 degrees. Let's check that. Yes, that is correct. So let's do one a bit lower down. Let's do this one here. Step one, point over the pointy bit of the angle. Step two, I'm using a keyboard, so I'll hold down the shift key to rotate the protractor so that zero on one of the scales is exactly over the arm of the angle. And in this case, it's the black scale. So starting with zero here, counting round, I get 100. It's more than 100, about 104, I'm going to say. 104 degrees. Check that. Yes, it's correct. So, always good before your final answer, just to think about the angle and to think about whether the number that you're choosing for the size of the angle does seem reasonable. 
So for an obtuse angle, yes it does. Okay, now let's move on to level 6. Now, here we have some reflex angles. These are angles that are bigger than 180 degrees. So as you can see, this one goes all the way around there. And if I put my protractor over here, and look where the zero meets the arm of the angle, the blue scale, I can count round on my blue scale, but by the time I've got to 180, I still haven't reached the other arm of the angle. So, how am I going to measure this? Well, my favorite method is to rotate the protractor and measure the other part that isn't the angle. So if I measure this part down here, starting off with the zero, that's 142 degrees. Well, 142. Now, in a complete circle, there are 360 degrees. So if 142 degrees are not included in that angle, if I subtract 142 from 360, that should tell me what's left. 218 degrees. So, that seems to be a good trick to use. Let's scroll down a bit more to find a more tricky one. Right, let's look at this angle here. So, it's a reflex angle, it's bigger than 180 degrees, so my protractor, this particular protractor, won't measure it because it only goes up to 180. So what I do is I measure the angle that's not part of the one we're trying to find. So I'll hit the shift, I'll rotate that until, in this case, the black zero is coinciding with that arm of the angle. And then I'll measure using the black scale that that's 101 degrees. If you subtract 101 from 360, you'll get 259. So that must be the size of the angle that's left, the reflex angle that's left. Correct. Finally, level 7, we have a mixture of angles, all sorts of different sizes, some reflex, some obtuse, and some acute. So that just gives you a good practice, a mixed bag, even some very tiny angles like this one here. But it's the same technique. Line up the protractor, one of the arms of the angle, decide which scale starts at zero, and then I can see this one is less than 10 degrees. Looking at the markings here, I think it's six degrees. So I'm gonna say six degrees for that. Okay, now it's your turn to have a go at the online exercise. Don't forget to press the check button regularly as you're working through the questions to see if you're getting them right. And if you make a mistake, have another thing and correct your answer and then press that check button again. Don't forget to claim your trophy when you've got to the end. And there are lots more activities on the Transom website for you to have a go at to improve your mathematics and you can claim hundreds of trophies. So, what are you waiting for? Get going. Bye. You can find Transom Mathematics at www.transom.org where you're welcome to use all of the activities absolutely free or jump in with both feet and become a Transom subscriber.